Hello again folks, um, I think I've mentioned to you before I'm a little bit of a hoarder and um, I decided today that I was going to go through the workshop and basically find things that I hadn't used. 18 months was my sort of cut off, if I hadn't used it in 18 months it was either going to be repurposed, sold, binned or recycled or whatever. Um, and going through one box I found this um, which I posted a couple of years ago. Um, it's a, a document camera, the Aver Media Aver Vision uh, CP135. Yeah, it's a document camera, the modern day equivalent of the overhead projector. Um, and it's mainly sort of teachers and lecturers that use these kind of things. And what they allow you to do is basically um, have this unit connected to a dis uh, display of some description, you know, a large screen display or a projector. Um, and it's got a camera, um, which I'll show you in a second. And basically you you get your document, a book or some written notes or whatever, you position the camera over over it and you can then display a physical document uh, to your students on a, on a large screen display. And, um, you know, they, they're not very popular nowadays. They're still used, but of course we do most of our learning these days electronically. And, um, you know, there's, you know, historical documents and books are all available online, e-books and scans and all that good stuff. So these are fairly... Uh, be, you know, rapidly becoming obsolete. Um, now, I purchased this particular unit off eBay for just six pounds a couple of years ago. Um, it was sold as uh, uh, not working. Uh, you know, uh, what's it? I can't remember the term eBay uses it uh, for parts or you know, if parts are not working, that kind of thing. Um, and that's all it said. So it came, and all it was was the power connector had been basically pushed inside. So you know, for us the hobbyist, you know, a five, ten minute job just to pop the cover off, take the remnants out and put a new socket on. But I did that and it worked. And, um, you know, I used it for its intended purpose as a, as a document camera. But I haven't used it in over 18 months. So it's either going to be binned or, um, you know, reused or, you know, something like that. And I thought we could maybe have a look and see if we could use it as... Um, you know, a camera for working on uh, PCBs for a surface mount work. Um, so I thought we'd, we'd take a look around the unit and then once we've done that, I'll set it up and we'll just uh, have a little try of it and see if it does actually work. So, we'll look around the unit. Um, obviously, this is our main control panel. It does have the facility to use a remote. It didn't come with a remote, but we've got power, mode, camera, PC, button so you can actually connect a pc to it as well you know so your pc is going through it uh, much in the same way as you used to daisy chain your you know scat uh you know your skybox and your dvd player into your into your tv that kind of thing um we've got a playback button and that sort of ties in with the capture button uh, and we can actually capture still images using it um auto image clearly just sets the image up uh, we've got an effect button, a freeze button, and obviously the menu to get into the settings. It's all controlled via this sort of jog wheel, um, which also functions as a D-pad. And then we've got our enter or select button in the middle. On the back of the unit, um, or whatever you want to call it, we've got our video connections. We've got our uh, RGB, um, you know, VGA in, out compass out and s video out um, and that's pretty much it um, and we're power connected there an old kensington slot but onto the business end um, we've got the camera itself so it's got little uh, surface mount leds eight of those uh, to illuminate, uh, illuminate the subject we're looking at and it's got a little focus wheel on the uh, or focus ring on the camera itself. It doesn't look particularly good optics, so I'm, I'm a little bit optimistic, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, and we've also got a switch on the the end here that allows us to adjust the, the brightness of those LEDs. It's all in this uh, unit here. Uh, it's fairly heavy, um, but it just hinges up. And then we just uh, adjust the camera to a suitable location. I know it's a bit difficult to do it here with it location of my camera but yeah we just do that and you know it outputs the, the image you require so yeah so we'll um we'll get it set up um i'll hook it up to uh, my workshop display and we'll see how it works and see if we could actually use it uh, in the workshop so if you bear with me i'll go and set that up now see you in a moment 
Hi folks, welcome back. So, the answer to the big question, is this going to be any good for use in the watch shop? Absolutely, 100% a massive yes from me. It really is superb at performing its unintended task of looking at uh, PCBs and stuff with some components. It really, really is good. I'm genuinely impressed with it. Um, so what I think I'll do is basically talk through the controls and show you a sort of real life use of it. So uh, the camera is currently positioned uh, about 15 centimeters above the board, so plenty of space underneath for working. Um, I've got the camera's LEDs switched to maximum, and um, yeah, it, it looks pretty sharp. I don't know how well it's coming through as I'm filming this screen, um, but it is really, really sharp, I can assure you. Um, that's it currently unzoomed, if that's even a term, um, and it goes all the way into 1600 uh, times magnification. That is a digital zoom, it's purely digital zoom, so um, we're not going to get that nice crystal clear optical quality um, because it's been electronically zoomed, so yeah, it is what it is. So what we'll do now is we'll, I'll zoom in on the board, uh, I'm just going to use that silver jog wheel that I showed you in the first part, uh, and if we just zoom in on these caps here, and I'll take it, I'll, fact, I'll take it all the way in to 1600% there. Um, you know, fairly noisy picture, uh, you'll agree. But if we take it out to say even 512, that is a fairly usable image. It's clear, again, I don't know how well it's come through in the camera, but it's it's usable, you know, we can get in there with a the soldering iron and, uh, you know, do a work. The refresh rate's fairly slow, well, fairly slow, it's, I think it's 25 frames per second, something like that, but um, yeah, usable. In fact, let's do a little test. I'll do a three, two, one, and when I get to one, I'll, I'll move the, the iron away, and we'll see how quickly it sort of displays. So here we go, three, two, one. That's fairly quick, fairly quick. Three, two, one. Yeah, not too bad at all. Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, it does have um, a capture function, as I mentioned in the first uh, part of the video. Uh, all we do is uh, press the capture button, funnily enough, and uh, it will go blank and then go back to our uh, live screen. And if I just press the playback button, um, you will see the image up here. And simply just uh, press enter and that will display the image. Uh, I know you can't see it down here, but it actually tells us the file number down there. Um, yeah, we press the camera button, that takes us back to the, the live view. And um, another interesting feature is, um, say for instance you're on working on a densely packed board and you, you notice something that's not quite right and you don't want to lose what you're actually working on, you can just mark it uh, with something and then press freeze and that will freeze the image um, for you to go away, come back and uh, you know see where you were working on. Obviously you could mark the board with a pen or something or place something physically on there and just leave it there but it's quite a nice feature um, and if we just unfreeze that it takes us again back to the live image. Now um, I think you'll agree that that is possibly usable, well it certainly is usable, it is for me um, but there's a feature on here which I think is going to be really, really uh, helpful. Um, if you see these tracks here, um, they're quite fine, quite dense. Not the densest I've seen, but yeah, it could be quite difficult given this colour scheme to uh, you know, sort of detect a shot or a, a, or a uh, cut in a trace or some damage to the board. Um, but the unit uh, has got the facility to overlay effects on the image much in the same way as you get your filters on Instagram and Snapchat and all that rubbish um, but yeah you just simply press it and it cycles through there's obviously the live image the normal image we've got this black and white image but the third and final image or filter or effect whatever you want to call it I think is particularly useful and that is negative uh, the negative image and I just think um, I'll show you a comparison in a moment but Looking at this, I think it'd be far easier to detect uh, a cut or a damage to a PCB using this negative uh, facility. It really, for me, it just helps me out. I just th think it's a lot uh, clearer and a lot easier to identify things. Um, make your own mind up on that. But yeah, so that's the negative. And if we go back to uh, the positive image or the normal image, 
you know, it's it just seems just seems a bit easier to see stuff. Um, yeah, as I say, make your own mind up on that. So yeah, really, really impressed with it. Um, of course, it's not like a mantis like Dave Jones or the EV blog or that, but um, you know, it's super cheap and it is super cheap now. Uh, I mentioned in the video that I bought this damaged for six pounds. Of course, it's damaged. Not a lot of people will buy damaged stuff because they'll just assume it's broken, um, and you know, and unfixable. But of course, we we like to tinker and fix things. And you know, at six quid, I took a gamble. Um, but when I, when I was setting up the camera, I had a quick look on eBay, and you can buy this particular model, uh, complete working. The only thing you need to buy is a twelve volt power supply, which you know I've got tens of them knocking around the workshop I'm sure you have um, but you can buy them for 15 or 20 pounds 15 or 20 pounds I mean can you believe that how good uh, you know how much of an improvement to your work is this gonna gonna give you for just a 20 pound investment and if you only use it once or twice or you know if you don't ever use it at all then you know if you use it once it's sort of paid for itself it's made your life a bit easier but you've always got it there in case you ever need it 20 pounds it's it's a no-brainer for me uh, and hopefully what now that you've seen this video you, you'll agree with that it really is uh, a nice little toy to have in the workshop um one other thing as well um i forgot to mention in the previous video is it's got usb as well and what that usb allows you to do is download the captured images which is really good i think you'll agree and um, you'd obviously want to do that um but another thing it allows you to do is um use the, uh, a connect the the camera as a, a connect the document camera as a webcam a usb camera to your computer so you can basically um in real time record the video you're making on on the on your pc which is obviously going to be brilliant for uploading uh, to youtube or whatever that or whatever else you want to upload it to um rather than doing what i'm doing and filming a screen here um yeah really really quite impressed um i don't know what else much to say about it um I, i'm genuinely impressed um hopefully you will be once you see these images and um yeah yeah, it's good. I'm really, really, uh, I'm in awe of it, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you probably think I'm over exaggerating a bit, but yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, just genuinely impressed. <laughs> anyway, folks, um, if you enjoyed the video, found it useful, uh, of course, as always, please like and subscribe. You should be able to click on my fat face down at the bottom right. Um, I'm using a new ending thing on YouTube, so try that if you want to subscribe and over on the bottom left there you should have a, a random video from uh, my various ones i've got uh, if you want, I haven't seen it before have a click on that and see what else uh, i do on youtube um other than that guys um take care of yourselves uh, get on ebay get one of these bought and um you know enjoy yourselves take care all the best